Following the Great Chicago Fire of 1871, Marshall Field bought out his partner and emerged with a new name for his retail business, Marshall Field & Company. By the early 1900s, the Marshall Field Store was firmly established as the premier department store in Chicago, with its flagship location on State Street. In 1906, Marshall Field died as the wealthiest person in Chicago, leaving behind an estate totaling $118 million. Through the first half of the 20th century, Marshall Fields had steady expansion. By 1951, the company's revenues had grown to a record $225 million. As Marshall Fields pushed into the suburban shopping malls during the 1960s and 70s, the store began to lose what had set it apart from other stores. In 1982, Marshall Field & Company was acquired by the British American Tobacco Company. New stores continued to open, while other divisions of the retail operation of the British American Tobacco Company were sold off.
In 1990, Marshall Fields was sold to the Dayton Hudson Corporation, better known as Target. It was later sold to Federated Department Stores, which owned Macy's. In 2006, the remaining Marshall Field & Company stores were converted to Macy's. For the people of Chicago, the memories of eating at the Walnut Room and being dazzled by the beautiful window displays were what Marshall Fields was all about. <laughs> 